All my life, I've always tried to, I guess, make things. How do you see the creative process in collecting art? For myself, it's you have an, a response to a particular work that strikes you as interesting or that you love it. I think it's similar in that way in that different people collect different things based on what their interests are and what their response to a particular work is. So collecting is kind of a kind of passion, I guess, and I have a tendency to gravitate towards the more difficult things, works that are less decorative, more tough, perhaps, because I feel that those have a message of some the artist is uh, striving to get at something and um, sometimes to express that you need to be tough uh, less sugar-coated uh, that's kind of my approach to it what does it add to a place to be filled with art like a house well i assume it's the personality of the occupants that is I mean, it's nice to be surrounded by paintings, different things that uh, give you something uh, each day. You know, you look at it and it, you discover something else. Every day, the works resonate with your life, with your inner life? Yes, sure. I mean, you might look at the work and really wonder how the painter did it, how the brush strokes, how they made those strokes and the really extraordinary precision with which they were made and uh, by the hand and um, the, you look at different things you I mean I maybe I exaggerate a little bit every day but primarily it's a part of your life and so you do look at things every day and you kind of focus in on different aspects of work each time you look at it how would you describe yourself without art in your life If you had no art, you would probably end up making something. You'd probably fill that void with something that you made. How did you come to collecting art? Well, I don't actually see myself as a collector of art, but my parents were big, um, significant art collectors, and um, I was interested in it. They had kind of shown me a particular way, and I was influenced by their tastes and and uh, things that they had collected in a way i followed my parents is how i began i guess what did you learn from them well i think i learned um, about quality the truth i mean the tough things not to be afraid of the tough things that those were the ones that spoke the most profoundly um, can you give me an example You know, for instance, one example might be, which was actually one of the first pieces I acquired, was the Jean Tanguy uh, dissecting machine. So that's definitely a tough work. It's now in the museum in Houston. You know, there's a, a Picasso painting of a boy in a chair with a basket. Uh, it's tough because it's the artist looking at this child and kind of expressing um, maybe their love of the child, but also their annoyance with the child and how they see the the child sort of as a multifaceted monster of sorts. And uh, so it has all of that, and that's what I mean by uh, toughness. Do you need to know something about the works you're oh. buying? You don't need to. I mean, you, you, what you know is what you, your response, your, your sense of them when you see them. You respond to certain works um, more than others, and that's all you need to know. So the, the tough point is the, the craziness of it. Yes, and it's not kind of sugar-coated. It's not an aesthetic piece. Did you ever discuss your taste for art with your parents? No, no, I just am the child of them, and I inherited some of their taste, uh, but there was not uh, anything we discussed. They had probably broader range of interests than I did initially, um, but um, 
I mean, I think it was somewhat similar, yeah. So the real conversation you had when you were young about art was with the artists. Yes, to some degree, uh, that's true. I mean, I mean, we grew up in an environment that had um, art on the walls, and so you, on some level, take it for granted, but on some level you're also looking at it, and because it was esteemed by your parents, you you know try and understand what it is that they're holding themselves in a high regard. This kind of impacts your your vision. Is there a purpose for you in collecting art? I mean, I think the purpose of any collecting is because you like to surround your things with things that you find interesting and you resonate with. Yes, you resonate with. So I'm not so much a collector today. Since I had a family and children, it seems you have less time and whatever resources to be spending on art. What were your guidelines at the time when you were collecting art? My guideline was that I liked it. I mean, you have to obviously have reliable sources, people that, you know, art dealers or other people that bring things to your attention. Do you like to be advised? I have been, sure. It's always good to learn something. I'm receptive to any learning I can receive. Can you judge quality in art in a separate way from your own taste? Sure. You can recognize quality even though you may not respond to it, you know, as something you personally like. Um, absolutely. Can you explain me why? Well, I think that um, quality, you know, kind of speaks for itself. You, you know, you see it and you recognize it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's something that you would um, personally like to have. Can we take an example about uh, an artist you don't like, but you know that he made a great work? Someone like Salvador Dali was not, never did anything for me, but I can recognize there's um, a lot of skill that goes into it, and but it somewhere lacked the soulfulness, I think. But it certainly is a quality piece of work. What does it add to a collector like you to meet the artist you're interested in? Artists are interesting people, and they, um, when they're good, speak the truth, and uh, they're always bringing us new ways of looking at things because they live in their own space, in their own world, and, and that's always interesting. Are you interested in people's reactions when they come to your house looking at the art on the walls? I mean, is it a way for you to better know these people? It's always interesting. Typically, people who don't like things aren't going to tell you, but um, it's not something I kind of focus on as a kind of key to someone, you know, to understand how they respond to what they're seeing. Is collecting a way to better know yourself? It can be. I mean, you can kind of discover yourself through your likes, I guess. In some ways, of course, you're a reflection of everything, all of the things that you collect <laughs> bring into your uh, into your life so that they do represent a certain image of you. I, I don't know what they learn. I mean, they learn about you, your taste. I don't know what they get. I mean, they get, I guess, something. I'm going to leave the space. Please hold the microphone and we'll add whatever you want to the interview. <laughs> okay. Okay, Philippe. I love to look at art and visit uh, museums and galleries and look at things. And But I'm somehow not so involved in being a collector of art anymore. I'm, I guess, trying to make things myself. So that's uh, all I have to add. Thanks. <laughs> 